Before I finish the discussion of optimization of vector calculations, let's review some of the tuning knobs for vectorization. Some of them we discussed in the code, others are discussed in more details in our book. PragmaSimD allows you to vectorize more loops. For instance, it is useful when you want to vectorize an outer loop instead of an inner loop, or if you want to vectorize loops with SIMD-enabled functions. Pragma Vector only says vectorize code even if estimates of performance show that it may be unprofitable. Pragma Vector Aligned tells the compiler to drop checks for alignment and not to implement a peel loop. It can be used only when you can guarantee that all vector loads and stores in this loop are on aligned data. Assume Aligned is a more fine-grained way to instruct the compiler about alignment. It applies to individual arrays used in a loop rather than to the entire loop. Pragma Vector Non-Temporal says that data written to memory should be written directly to the RAM and not stored in caches. This is useful when you know that you will not reuse the results of the calculation soon. Pragma No Vector forbids automatic vectorization of the loop that follows it. Pragma if dap and the restrict qualifier allow pointer disambiguation. When they are used, the compiler may work assuming that there is no vector dependencies between pointer-based data in the loop. Pragma loop count is a compiler hint that tells the compiler that at runtime, the loop count can be expected to be equal to something or be greater or smaller than some threshold. This may allow the compiler to choose the vectorization strategy optimally. In addition to pragmas used in the code, it is important to remember about compiler arguments related to vectorization. Qopt report requests an optimization report. This gives you a text file that you can use to check which loops were vectorized or not and why, and also look for opportunities for tuning using pointer disambiguation and alignment hints. The global optimization level argument is also useful. At the default optimization level dash capital O2, automatic vectorization is enabled. At O3, vectorization may use different, more aggressive strategies, so it is often useful to try both. Finally, Xcode is an argument that tells the compiler to implement vectorization with a specific instruction set. If you are going to run the code on the same processor on which you are compiling, you can just use dash -x host to get access to the most recent instruction set in your processor. For more details on those tuning knobs, see our book or the compiler reference. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below the video. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope to see you in the next episode.